Now it's funny how Sh Chevel Chevrolet looks more like Chevrolet. No Chev or Let. That just looks like Chevrolet. Sometimes the words do that too, huh? Anyways, I'm looking at just want to give you guys an idea on how much it's going to cost to fix my S10. Here's our some of the parts. Most of the parts I need to get it going. It's a good bit of them. Well, I'm on Craigan's website. I have 24 things in my cart. Well, 23 things is the things I need. There is one thing I want to check the condition of the engine with. A compression tester. We'll get to that in just a minute, though. Wiper blades. Definitely need to replace those. The wiper blades on it right now are the fin... The, the fins... The, the... What are those things called? Uh, the little blade parts, you know, the little fin parts. Well, those are like totally gone, and I'm actually afraid to actually use them because they actually might scratch the windshield up more than it already is. Yeah, my drunken dad messed up when he forced the wiper blades to go and almost broke the linkages. Um, yeah. Dumbass. Um, for one wiper blade, one wiper blade is $7.99, and of course I did quantity two, so it's $15.98 for that. Wiper motor. We need a new wiper motor. Wiper motor works on low, but not on high. And I actually think that's why I actually might need a new switch, because actually... You know, they put a too big of a fuse in so it wouldn't blow, and they actually burned up the little teeny switch. This isn't that big. So that'll explain it, why it doesn't work at all. So, new one of those is $52.99. Core seven dollars. I'm probably gonna get to use them for twenty bucks at the junkyard if I can find one that works. There are a few there, but they've been sitting on shelves for several years, so I don't even know if they work. Oil pressure sender. Ever since I got my truck, it's always had a problem where it um, the oil pressure light was very dim, and now it doesn't even come on at all. So. I want to see if I can clean up the connections to make it work. If that doesn't work, I'm just going to get a new sender for it. That's $18.99. No core. Muffler has a giant rust hole where the exhaust pipe pokes in, so i got to get a new one of those. $55.99 is actually cheaper than I thought it was. The Toyota, one for my Toyota is $70. That was, that was a couple years ago. That was 2006-2007 for my old Primer truck. Not my Primer truck, but my white Toyota I had for a month before the head gasket blew. Parted it out. Alternator, the bearings on my alternator are going out. In my video where I showed you guys tips on changing belts, you can tell it squeaked. And I was wondering what actually was intermittently squeak, seizing up sometimes and making the belt burn and making the belt squeak. I think the bearings on these alternator are actually seizing up occasionally, so I need to replace this soon. New one's $89.99 for $25 core. And I'm probably just going to get a used one for like $40. Probably outlast the truck. Well, hopefully not, but you know, you never know. Um, need an idler pulley, because this pulley goes click, 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 click when you turn it. And according to Corvair Wild, that's, not, that's a bad pulley. So I'm going to replace that. $42.99. Probably get that some of my Christmas money. I'll probably get. Yep, yep. Maybe I'll get that one too, I don't know. You should get about hundred dollars for Christmas. Probably get a used one for that though. Um, here's the idler point for the tensioner. The tensioner point on mine looks really chewed up. You feel and you guys should feel where the plastic actually feels like it's not all there anymore on the inside. I did look up the part number and it's the same one that's on the Jeep Wrangler, so I'll go take that one off and you know put on my box of stuff I need to put on the truck. Valve cover gaskets leaking, so I need to get a new one of those. Oh, and, uh, this pulley is $19.99. Assuming that the pulley doesn't no good. Valve cover gasket, $26.99. Well, that's our upgraded one. I'm thinking about getting the other one. I think it's like $13.99 or $10. It's a lot less, like $10 less. I don't know. I don't even know what the difference is between these two. I'll have to ask and see. Of course, I gotta get an ECU. And that's why I think my check engine light's coming on and why it misses at low RPMs. So, hopefully, that'll fix my problems. I did find it on eBay for $22, including shipping. So, that's sweet. 
ten dollars ten dollars and twelve dollars shipping. Ten dollars for that computer and twelve dollars shipping. A new one of these is seventy nine dollars, seventy nine ninety nine with a sixty dollar core. Well, I really want that thing back. Oil filter, gotta get that. Wanna change the oil? Keep the engine going, you know. And motor oil. Oh, oil filter six ninety nine quantity one. Oil four ninety nine. I did do five. I wasn't sure, so I just randomly did five quarts. It's about what my truck takes, and has a similar size engine, two point four. And this is a two point five, so you know, might need a little bit more. I maybe not as much. We'll see. Want to get a locking gas cap for it? That one's thirteen ninety nine. Door seals definitely need those after that big rain we had. Actually, the inside the floors were actually damp, so I need to fix that. That's probably why the headliner has mold on it. Gotta fix that. This one is thirty ninety nine for you know one door seal and two from sixty one ninety eight. Inside door handle on the door I got. It doesn't always come back. To the you know the position it's supposed to be, it's always sticking out a little bit. So I want to get a new one of those eventually. New one's twenty ninety nine. So you know, I need to find out what the door came from first. I guess there's a difference between eighty three and eighty six through ninety eighty nine. So we'll see. Um, here's the wiper switch. Switch is actually very expensive. It's eighty-seven ninety-nine, and I did press and did take apart part of the steering column. I did push and push in the plug as far as it'll go. It didn't fix the problem, so you can see if I can get one of these. Probably going at the Auto Records. The one's been ninety dollars on just a switch. You hurry up. Steering wheel puller. Need to do that to replace that switch. Let's see if the owner I got the truck from said I could borrow his because he replaced the lock cylinder going to the ignition a while back. Twenty-six ninety-nine. I do want to get a new distributor cap. I think it might be running a little bit rough because the cap's so worn. That's nine ninety-nine. Then of course get a new rotor. That's three ninety-nine. Here's a compression tester I want to get for it. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. We'll see how good the engine is. I do have a few when it is rebuilt, but you know, it looks really clean for considering the condition of the rest of the truck. That's like the best part of it. We'll see. And I think the fuel pump's a bit weak, so might be looking at a new one of those soon. Seventy nine ninety nine. Expensive little bastard. Starter, fifty six ninety nine with a thirty dollar core. O2 sensor. I, have a I think O2 sensor might be going out. I'm still not sure. It's not putting a check engine light on or anything, so. I don't know, I might not get that one at all. It's only $20, so well, $19.99. I do, do need a new water pump. $27.99. I'm going to get the new one, not the remanufactured one. I think it'll last longer. Of course, the gasket, that's $0.99. Cents. And that's it. Total is $999.70. And that's not including tax or, you know, the tires I need to get for it or, you know, or I need to pay someone to help me put the rotors on it, you know, stuff like that. It's probably going to go up a little bit, probably be close to 1500 It's a lot of money put into a truck that was it's only worth about $1,000 in excellent condition. And I'll do it. I'll make a video why I'm actually going to fix it. A couple of reasons. Well, anyways, guys. I want to share that with you. And I'll tell you guys about a new account I opened up. I want to, I want to get just right before I tell you guys about it though. So, over and out.